So in this question, we have a horse race. Now in this horse race, there are a total of four, uh, 14 horses, uh, and a certain individual owns four of them. Now we want to calculate the probability that this person's horses uh, come in places one, two, three, and four. So this would be a very uh, lucky outcome if it were to happen. And we want to, and so let's go ahead and see how lucky uh, this person would have to be for it to occur. So even though this is one event, one singular event, a horse race, uh, to calculate the probability, we're actually going to think of this as four separate events. The first event being that um, the first one horse comes in first place, the second event that is the second horse comes in uh, second place, and so on until we have all four places. So let's think about just the probability that four, uh, one of four out of 14 horses comes in first place. So uh, it would just be four out of 14. The odds are pretty good. Uh, good. So the next event here is for second place. Uh, we have three of our horses remaining, or three of this person's horses remaining, uh, but there are now 13 horses left in this race, so it would be three out of 13. Uh, the third event here is for third place, now, but now we have two horses out of 12, so we would uh, multiply this uh, Time, uh, times two twelfths. And then you guessed it, the final event would be one out of 11 horses. Um, and so what, like, as I mentioned, what we have to do is we have to multiply all these together to see the probability that they all occur. So uh, when we do that, we find that it is one out of 1,001. I used my calculator before. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's highly unlikely this happens. And uh, if you were a betting person, uh, I am not a betting man. Um, but if I were, I would stay clear of making this bet unless the payout was enormous. Um, hope that helps. Good luck.